Hello everyone and welcome to Guard Mode Reviews in association with Channel 9 and today we will be reviewing one of the latest offerings from Motorola which is the second version of its Moto Z Play and it is none other than the Moto Z2 Play. Place the Moto Z to play next to the last year's Z Play and anyone will have a hard time telling which one is the Z to play and which one is the Z Play. Both the smartphones have the almost exact same size which is something Motorola has done to ensure the Z to play's compatibility with the previous generation of Moto Mods. The front panel is a standard affair, it has a 5.5 inch display with a substantial top and bottom breezes. The smartphone runs on Android 10.11 Nougat out of the box. The experience is almost like stock Android and there is absolutely no bloatware. The Moto Z launcher closely resembles the Google Pixel's launcher, complete with rounded icons and a sliding app drawer. There is no lag in the user interface and the reason is to be credited to Motorola who has managed to strike a great balance between the hardware and software in the Moto Z Play. Motorola has chosen the Snapdragon 626 SoC which is an updated version of the Snapdragon 625 in the last year's model. The phone has a 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. Now talking about the build and design of the phone, the part of the phone has been kept very much neat and precise with just the USB-C type port and the 3.5mm jack. Top of the phone carries the SIM card slot along with the noise cancellation port. You can also see the antenna band that is running in between them. On the right hand side you have the volume rockers and the power button which definitely looks of good build quality. The left side of the phone is kept empty to make the design look minimalistic and simplistic. But unfortunately the camera bump sticks out like a sore thumb. It adds roughly 2mm to the thickness of the phone. The bump contains the camera itself, dual tone flash and laser autofocus emitter. A metal ring keeps the camera lens safe from scratches. Now to ensure support for the last year's modes, Moto has retained the 16 pin connector at the back. These pins are made with 24 karat gold to prevent corrosion and are scratch resistant to some extent. The front camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and towards the bottom of the screen you have the fingerprint sensor. Now if you want to know more details about the configuration of the phone, all you can do is navigate to the settings and then navigate down to the about phone section wherein you will get the information about the system updates, the version number, the android version, the baseband version, the kernel version and the build number. The android version can be tested by tapping the android version option multiple number of times. Upon tapping the hardware information option, you will be able to view all the hardware related options that are the display, the version, the SKU, the camera, NFC and dual SIM options. Now coming to the fingerprint sensor, the Moto Z2 Play comes with a front mounted fingerprint sensor which works extremely well, supporting the 360 degree fingerprint recognition. The sensor is both fast and accurate. What truly sets it apart is the aforementioned one button navigation functionality. We can enable this under the Moto Action sub settings in the Moto app and once it is enabled, it allows the fingerprint sensor to be used as a single replacement for all the three on-screen navigation keys hiding the letter from the display. Now the user interface is something which is very much remarkable when it comes to the Moto Actions option. Once we allow the one button navigation in the Moto Actions, swiping left on the sensor stimulates the back action while swiping right opens the recent application. Similarly, short pressing on the sensor locks or unlocks the phone and long pressing on it summons up the Google Assistant. Then we have the option called twist for quick capture. So this is an option where we can twist the phone and activate the camera. 
the other options include swipe to shrink screen, pick up to stop ringing, flip for do not disturb and approach for motor display. Moving over to the camera, the Z2 Play has a 12 megapixel f1.7 shooter with face detection and laser autofocus. Despite having a lower resolution than the 16 megapixel unit on the Moto Z Play, it is having a marked improvement over the original. Now testing the camera on the nearby objects proved its output to be extremely good. In well lit conditions, the smartphone's rear camera manages to capture great looking photos with ample amount of resolved detail. The photos look sharp and post-processing is kept at a minimum as well. However, the camera's limitations become apparent in low-light scenarios as photos turn out to be grainy and often have a lot of digital noise. The camera application on the Z2 Play is straightforward. Apart from usual photo and video modes, it includes the ability to shoot panoramic photos and slow-motion videos. There is even a full-blown manual mode that lets you adjust everything from ISO values to the white balance as per your needs. The Zato's rear camera can capture 4K resolution videos at 30fps and full HD videos at 30x60fps. The videos look largely fine, nonetheless the lack of optical image stabilization OIS is baffling. Bearing a price tag of 27999 the Motorola Moto Z2 Play is clearly more expensive than the last year's Moto Z Play. The Z2 Play is not just any other mid-range smartphone, but it's one of a kind device that opens a gateway to whole new experience. It is a smartphone that can be transformed into anything from a portable music system to a super zoom camera in a jiffy with use of the motor modes. So do put in your valuable comments in the comment section below to give a thumbs up to this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel for much more technology related gadget reviews and do not forget to visit the channel 9 retail outlet in Bengaluru that is there since 1986 and it has one of the widest range of smartphones, gadgets and accessories and you will be surprised with the freebies, discounts and the offers that this outlet is offering.